So then we will find out uh, whether we can use the Insta360 Studio to edit and open parts from Insta360 Go. Here I've prepared footage from this morning's walk. Here's some a picture that we can try to see whether it works. So it works with picture. We can change the aspect ratio to anything we want. We can do it with some videos too. Okay. Video also works. This is a video of me walking in the neighborhood this morning. You can see that uh, all the aspect can be used. For state stabilizations, uh, we can see whether we can turn it off and we can turn it on. Make it more stable. And FPV stabilization, um, where it doesn't maintain the horizontal uh, level. This is there is one caveat though that uh, we cannot do the keyframe things, we cannot do deep track, we cannot do uh, motion blur here, we can only do time shift. The nice thing is that we can process a bunch of files in one go. Oh, the motion blur is working too. And apply the motion blur. Maybe it will work better in the 16. So the motion blur works. We can try to export this one and see whether the motion blur really works. This we can export it. Color plus maybe. Um, then okay, let's do it and done. Okay, let's see the result. Open it. Yeah, let's see. Okay. Wow, that was cool. The other trick is that we can also select multiple files here. Okay, and then we can do batch export, which is really, really nice. Remove green. It will take surely a long time, but we don't have to export the files one by one in our smartphone anymore. We can just leave it to work in one go, and then we can edit all the footage in our favorite editors like Premiere or Shotcut or what else, Final Cut Pro. Okay, I just want to show you that it works. We can edit the Insta360 Go files in Insta360 Studio in our desktop, which gives us a lot of freedom and give us this batch exporting mm. without filling the storage in our smartphone. The drawbacks, uh, of course, that we need to have the laptops around, but probably also we can just transfer the files to our smartphones and then later at home uh, we can copy the files to our desktop and do the batch processing together to export them into a editor friendly files and with color plus two and motion blur if we want to okay see you.